Hey guys, Mr Bates here, and um, this is about food suggestions for Duke of Edinburgh. Um, by no means this is going to be um, an exhaustive list, so therefore what I recommend is to get out there, do some research, uh, practice at home, have a play with, play with it, and hopefully you can get some great food choices and selections for when you do your, your expeditions. Okay. So um, some of the things you need to decide on is, uh, it could be that you do that as a group or, or as an individual. And you need to think about how many days you're going for. So for bronze, you are going for two days. So you're going to need snacks for both days, lunch, two lunches, two dinners, and um, you need to have emergency rations. Well, what you've also got to remember on top of that is, as a minimum, you have to carry uh, two litres of water. Okay, so that is on top of your food. So, things to consider before... Um, getting your food is you need to think about calories. So uh, you really need to up your calories because you are walking all day um, and you are carrying a rucksack. So some of you need to be looking at around about 3,000 to 5,000 calories per day. It's also really good to choose the food that you like. Um, otherwise, you're just not going to eat it. So that's why it's good to have a little taste, have a little try before, before you do these expeditions. Uh, try and get the, your, your nice balance of your proteins, fats, carbohydrates. And as I said, make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, another main con consideration is thinking about the weight and keeping it low volume. So, for example, cans are quite bad because they're quite heavy uh, weight. Um, also, for example, pot noodles are quite bad because they're quite high volume um, and there's not really much to them. Um, also, you need to think about carrying your waste out. So bring a, a carrier bag, a spare carrier bag with you. So if you are having snacks um, or having your lunch, you can put your waste in that carrier bag, okay? You've got to think about how you're going to clean your pots and pans, how you're going to clean uh, your, your, um, uh, your, your cooking utensils and so on, um, how you're going to keep your food waterproof. So as I say here, Ziploc bags are great. Uh, you, you saw from the first picture, um, you're going to be cooking on a, a most likely a transier, okay? So you, you just got a couple of pans and, and maybe a frying pan. Uh, you also have to remember that you're not carrying a fridge on your back, so uh, probably not good to have like your milks or anything, stuff like that. Um, and one major thing that I've had in the past is think about the food that you eat the day before. So make sure you have a good evening meal and a good breakfast or hearty breakfast in the morning. Um, I've had one situation where a lad went out the night before, uh, he's eating all sorts of uh, different food and he couldn't continue the next day due to yeah, having, a, having a bad belly. So bad list, make sure um, you could bring this but you've got to be a bit careful. But So for example, bacon, it's going to stick to your pan, it's also like it's going to go off. You haven't got to, got to kind of refrigerate it, the same with sausages and hams and stuff like that. Um, you can't keep them cold, so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, the potential of food poisoning there. Um, things like eggs, they're easy to break and how would you cook them? And then all squashy fruits and vegetables, so like your mushrooms, tomatoes, sometimes your bananas might get squashed in your bag. Uh, crisps, they're quite bulky, full of air. Same with pot noodles and also it's not good to bring like your fizzy drinks or your energy drinks. Um, yeah, because they, they sort of like give you a big high and then, and then you drop down, okay? So here's a picture of uh, one day I uh, raided a shop that sounds a bit like uh, Doris's can, um, or Doris can, yeah. And um, so uh, I wanted to see uh, what, what I could get. Obviously, you can see the use of uh, Ziploc bags here where for my snacks, I kind of made my own trail mix up, but I, I just added a few bits and bobs to, to make my own bag there, got rid of the rubbish. The same with like flapjack. Okay, I've, I've used some uh, like Ziploc bags to put my flapjack in just for the stuff I need. I think those midget gems I might have used as my emergency rations. There's some like biscuits and uh, some crackers someone gave me for some army rations. Um, I've also kind of experimented with uh, sort of like wraps and uh, you can get sort of like tuna in, in little cans with sweet chili or you can get these meals or you can get these sachet things that are quite nice as well. Um, obviously you've got your chewy bars, any any brand, uh, 
carrots are quite good to bring with you. Um, apples, pears sometimes get a bit squidgy, squashy, so be careful um, unless they're there. And uh, if we look at the top here, um, as, a, as I said, cans are uh, sort of like quite solid to use, but you could maybe think about if you've got a really good container, uh, and that could be your bowl as well, you could sort of like already leave it in that bowl ready for the evening. Um, here's a brilliant boil in the bag meal. We'll look at those in a bit more detail, but you've also got your, your rices and your noodles to think about. Um, you just remember, look on the packet, make sure that they don't say uh, microwave uh, because yeah, you're not carrying a microwave with you, okay? Um, I've got my cup here for my hot drinks, for my teas, my coffees. I managed to get some sachets in this instance. Um, and in the background there, there's some skimmed milk and I've put in a little, put it into a little container to carry with me and I can use that when I, I make my sachets of porridge and so on. Also, I've got a bowl, um, I think I've got a spoon and a fork or you could might get a spork and I've got a little scourer there so I can uh, easily wipe my pans out. So there's there's just some, some ideas there. So next slide right so say as a snacks so you've got to think of snacks nuts trails mix chocolate think about the weather if it's cool then chocolate's good otherwise it might melt uh boiled sweets are good uh peanuts nuts and so on just think about people in your group with allergies as well you might, might want to ask them uh, and then um sort of like your dried meats pepper army beef jerky and so on okay um so breakfast you need to start the day with substantial breakfast and a hot drink so Multiple things there. As I said, uh, I like to go with my porridge, but you can go cereals, muesli, and so on. You might want to bring your tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Um, and, uh, and a good thing to do is is pre-mix it before. Okay, so make sure you could uh, put you can put that all in a Ziploc bag, and you've got your porridge and stuff ready to go. Um, lunch, many options. Most people go with like picnic style. Uh, but as you say, you might want to bring some form of bread with like a pitta or wraps or, and then complement that with like your cereal bars, your flapjacks, your biscuits, chocolate bars and so on. Okay. Uh, also, some people usually like to have a 30 minute lunch and others like to have shorter rests, 15 minute rests, but then they, they kind of like drip feed themselves with different energy. Okay. So uh, yeah, make sure that you do not, uh, after the second day, have something that especially that's gonna deteriorate or the course of the expedition. So uh, having a chicken sandwich is probably a bad idea for your second day, okay? Um, dinner, supper, tea. So this is, you need to cook a substantial meal and this is where most people do that, okay? That's one of your 20 conditions. Um, so. You've got to use a one stove. There might be two or three people sharing a stove. Uh, you could produce a three course meal in a short amount of time. So you might want to bring some sushi, uh, soup sachets. You might want to get some, uh, might bring a boiling bag curry stew, um, beans and bangers smash. Uh, you might want to bring some noodles, your rice and so on. And then also, I found some nice little, either you can have the boil in the bag like Wayfarer like puddings, but go to a supermarket, you can find, I know, I know I'm going to say look for microwave, but you can get those um, like puddings in a, in, a, in a plastic container, a cup that you can just stick in, in the water that will heat them up for you as well, okay? Um, so as I say, you could boil a pan of water, use it to make soup for a starter, and then you can use the rest to cook the boil in the bag afterwards so you, you you will learn how to cook smartly as well um so here's one of these boil in the bags so you can get these maybe cheap online look online but you've got your go outdoors Cotswold camping and, and places like that uh use your duke of edinburgh car to get your discounts um and so as i say you might want to bring some extra stuff to go with it, it could be pitta you could bring some rice um, you could bring some dried meats and so on. And what's the, the advantage of this? You can eat hot or cold. Eating cold is, I know people experiment with it and they've always said it's not too good because like the fat is congealed a bit. And yeah, it's always good to make sure you eat that hot. Um, there is a fast cooking time. You don't have to refrigerate. It's nice and easy to carry. Uh, it's got high calories and there are a wide range of meals for you to sort of like look at. They are a little on the pricey side, but um, yeah, get, use that discount card and, and, and search around. 
So emergency rations, you need to have these. Um, and there's also, uh, you stick these at the bottom of your bag and you, what's good is you can sort of like keep them for your practice and your assessment expedition tucked away in your bag. And then uh, when you finish, therefore you can save them as a treat. But think of weather, like your chocolate bars might not work very well, but you might want to try and find some Kendall mint cake or something like that, if you've never heard of that, um, from the outdoor shops. Yeah, so, but things like your, your, your fruit pastels, your wine gums, you might even want to bring some, a, a sachet of raw jelly, okay? Uh, you might want to bring some energy drink powder, some flapjack, or your, your chewy bars, okay? Uh, but yeah, make sure that is tucked away and maybe kept in a waterproof container or a bag or something like that. So, just um, a reminder for you, go through some things to go. So, uh, here is like a sample menu that you probably best to do. So, I, I write this down. So, for example, this is what I regularly take is like my first snacks mixed nuts, raisins, dates, and Haribo. Okay, my lunch, I'm gonna have four mini wraps with um, some tuna chili sachets or tins that I found. Um, I might take an apple with me. Um, and then I'm gonna have a chewy uh, stroke bar, flapjack bar, okay? Um, for dinner, I might have a chicken tikka boil in the bag and uh, bring some rice with that. Um, and then I'm gonna get, get one of those uh, sort of like boil in the pot chocolate sponge. Uh, I've got to remember my drinks, I love a cup of tea. Um, and uh, I'm gonna bring some my milk powder with me. And then I might even make myself a hot chocolate before I go to bed and uh, tuck myself in with my teddy bear, okay? Uh, and then for breakfast, I've got some porridge with raisins. I'm gonna pre-mix this, and I'm gonna put it in a, a Ziploc bag or a freezer bag, and I'm gonna pre-mix it with milk powder, and I'm gonna also have a cup of tea for, for my breakfast. Um, and then uh, snacks throughout the day, once again, mixed nuts and raisins, but I'm gonna bring some beef jerky to add to the mix as well. Uh, my lunch, pretty much same again, but I'm gonna go branch out and go with a bit of tuna and lemon flavoured uh, packet with my mini wrap. I'm going to have some dried apricots and uh, another chewy flapjack bar. And then my emergency rations are going to be fruit pastels and uh, chewy bar. Okay, right. I hope that helps. But yeah, go, go research, go uh, practice this. Okay, and um, hopefully you can take these things into consideration when you are planning for your Duke Venom expedition. Good luck.